jua nguvu ambaye yuko katika upendo. Mungu basi ndio kiini cha maisha. Lakini Naaman alipoingia mara ya saba Biblia inasema kwamba Naaman akawa msafi kuliko mtoto mdogo bwana asifiwe. Shibaba mikuni yose Nyakati hii za mwisho ni kwamba njooni tusemezane. The current world is inclined more and more towards sin. The sad truth however is that more people are headed for eternal destruction not because they were not told the truth but because they decided to stick on wrong doctrines even when they were told the right ones. Multimedia University set out for a mission in Ekitale in Bungoma County to try and undo some of these wrongs and teach them the truth as they bring to them the good message about Jesus Christ. Join me, Victor Mogere, as we join these amazing zealous youths in this journey. Welcome. Ekitale is a market center in Bukembe West Ward, Bungoma County, about 5 kilometers from Bungoma Town. It is mainly inhabited by the lawyer community, though other communities also live and work in the area. The people here mainly practice farming. Sugarcane farming is the most common owing to the richness of the soil and the availability of Nzoia Sugar Company within the locality. The people also practice food crop farming and livestock keeping. River Chuele passes through the region and provides water for this area. This area is full of beautiful rocky hills sandwiched within a green landscape. From the inception of the idea to implementation took around 8 months. This is from May to December. Being the first time for Multimedia University to carry out a mission, time never seemed enough and keen attention had to be taken to ensure that nothing was forgotten during the preparation. We had to embrace the best techniques to collect funds the Grand Funds Drive was graced by the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of the University, Ms. Maranga. On the morning of 21st December, which was intended to be the first day of the mission activities, students were gathered at the school to catch the bus for Ekitali. 
month. As expected, the first activity was to pack the vehicle with items that were to serve the 65-member team for two weeks. The equipment, food and personal effects filled all the carriage space in the 52-seater Nairobi East SDA church bus. Let your conversations be pure, let your thoughts be pure. And I ask that we plan our minds for the mission and when we get there, we'll thank God and ask Him to guide us in everything. And all that we plan in our lives. This is a prayer for we pray in Jesus' name. The journey officially began at 9 a.m. from Multimedia University. <laughs> As we left Nairobi County, the vehicle was packed with melodious voices singing hymns and songs of praise to God. Being a long journey, we had to make most of us at Nakuru for refreshments. As the journey continued, it seemed to get longer as we met long traffic jams, especially at Timbaroa, where we were delayed for more than an hour. Some of our members, who were to be picked on the way, almost ran out of patience waiting for the bus. I waited for so long and then I arrived here so late. On arrival, I arrived quite early, had to wait for the rest of the people to arrive. They arrived at around 10, 10 p.m. in the evening. At 8.30 p.m., we were in Eldoret Town, not aware we still had more than an hour to spend in the bus. We finally arrived at Ekitale Church at 10 p.m. Resident members of Egitale had been waiting for us patiently and the food they had prepared for us was almost going cold. We were welcomed by the elders of the church, the host pastor Richard Chelotti, and not to forget the area member of county assembly, Honorable Julius Ofula Baraza. After welcoming, we went to Friend School Wanda Girls Secondary, which was to be our home for the next two weeks. <laughs> Our mission for coming here was to cause have a two weeks crusade whereby which we will spread the three angels' messages. We want to consecrate this place. At Wizi Anza Kufanya Mawiri, Ama Jambololote, Alpha Kama Bad of Jay Katasa Samaya. However, I would want at this moment we pray and ask God to take possession of this place. Our activities for the day were mainly outreach, which included visitation to homes, having the open crusade, and approaching people at their places of work and sharing with them the gospel. <laughs> However, some preparation for these activities had to take place before going out. Early every morning we assembled in one of the rooms at the school and had our devotion. 
And if the woman is not willing, Abraham continues, to follow you, then you will be released from this oath. But please do not take my son back then. Do you, do you see some emphasis on something? On other days, we would have devotion at Ekitale Church before going for breakfast. Sorry, 4 verse 31. 4 verse 31. 4 verse 31 says, And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God with all the body. So today, friends, uh, we all know that we are going for the door. And some of us really can say, I'm afraid. I've never done this before, but you can see the Bible is assuring us that we should do what we should just pray. Once we pray, we can feel the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will give us boldness. Devotion was closely followed by breakfast at the same venue. Visitations were done by groups named after faithful women in the Bible. These groups were of about six people each. The groups had the task of visiting homes, discussing the word with them, enrolling voice of prophecy students, praying for the visited home, acting as link between the homes and the larger team, and to identify any needs that we may be able to meet. Surely enough, the teams were not a disappointment as most of the people received the message from these groups. Occasionally, we received testimonies and reports from different groups during the morning assembly. Sometimes they want to get angry so easily. So she asked us to pray for her that she may not uh, collide with any neighbor and that God may help her not to be angry but to live happily with the kid. She has one kid and then the other one is an orphan. So she has two children. She also gave us a prayer request that we thank God for the ending of this year. Then she also took the discovery pay and she told me that she will come to the meeting. We found another Nazir called Johnson Badas who told us that he was a widow, he is a widow and he really wanted a Bible. So that's the only person who told us he wanted a Bible and we promised him. So he said, Do you do anything? He is entering the closet and uh, the lady there, she, she was going to, for the wedding and she, I asked, we invited her over and uh, she said that she would, she, she would find time but in, uh, in the evening I saw her and we met, we talked but she told me at one she left Kamangombe, she had friends and I told her to also invite them and uh, she told me she would send the son to come and take the discover guys. We, we met two young boys and they were making bricks. Actually, both of them are in the same school, and then class seven, both of them. So they were making bricks, and we looked at them, we saw that maybe they need to learn them. So their names were Elliot and Gideon. So in their prayer requests, were, we said that we pray for their education, so that they will succeed. And then... Almost uh, five people enrolled for Discovery Bible School. That's true. And then there is Anne. Anne is divorced. She was formerly an Adventist. I guess she was married to an Adventist man. 
but they got divorced and now she is she no longer goes to church. Though she requested for prayers to know God deeper, for the deeper knowledge of the truth. And hopefully let's pray for her that she may join the faith again. We visit the, the family of Robert and Roda, the, the old Papaiko. Next was Reverend Rever Francis, who promised to come for Bible study. On this Sunday, this 28th day, this Sunday. Mm -hmm. But these people are not interested in the life they are living in. And I'm going to be studying with you when she was born. I'm going to talk about the book. Amen. And that is, uh, oh. and this man was called David, and the mom, mom, the mom was called Cetrin, David Nyongesa, Cetrin Nyongesa, and they have nine children. David used to be a preacher at a church called Glory Church, he was a preacher, but now he's vaccinated. Uh, we were prompted to be here by the Great Commission, which we all know is in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19, that says, go ye out there for an make disciples of all nations, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the end of the world. I came here with a multimedia group to spread the word of God. It's been a good experience. We have met several people. The people here are very receptive. And uh, we expect to have lots of converts because they are really seeking Bible truth. Most of them are hungry and they want to hear the word of God and know the truth in its fullness. For harmony in the Bible discussions, each team had a number of Discovery Bible guides both in English and Kiswahili. Kiswahili was the most preferred translation by most of the residents. These guides were studied by both Adventists and non-Adventists. They had quizzes at the end and Bible students received certificate of completion at the end of the course. By the end of the two weeks, we had graduated more than 20 students, while others were still continuing with their studies. Cloth donations had been collected prior to the mission and were distributed in various homes as identified by the group. Bibles were also donated where there was need. Daily, we began the open crusade at Ekitale Market Grounds from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. The grounds were a beehive of activities. There were different classes for different ages. All these classes were spread within the open grounds. On the initial day, our audience seemed reluctant to respond as they were still familiarizing with the strange faces.
wapi ni mbali? Ngoma town iko karibu. Eh? Shifra ni karibu. Eh? Okay, kona huyo ngei. Si, nitakata kuambia sana. Kama mnataka tuimbe. Mnataka tuimbe. Kona huko yenye nataka kuwafundisha. Mnataka tuimbe. Tuimbe alafu kisha imba kila mtu atakuwa mikasirika hata sijui kwa nini mikasirika mimi mimi nakuanga nakuanga na kwa nini sababu moja mbona mungu anatupenda weka tu mkono na nani anajua na nani anajua mbona mungu anatupenda loft mungu na mungu anatupenda unajua It never took long before the classes picked up and more people joined. About eight, about eight teachers from multimedia team were dedicated to teaching children in three different classes. Sema baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You are my savior. Every day. Every day. The youths and baptismal candidates shared a class. A class for the young women was also established.
first program on the dais was Family Life led by evangelist Josiah Birai. He tackled the stages of marriage from dating to the late marriage stages. Kwa sababu tumegundua kwamba Mungu ni pendo na aliumba mwanadamu kwa mfano wake na Mungu ni pendo. Kwa hivyo mwanadamu anatawala na nini? Na pendo. Katika ndoa ni nini inaonekana? Ni upendo peke yake. Kwa hivyo baada ya kujua hivi tunakumbuka tulisoma Yohana wa kwanza 4:8 msari wa 8 inasema yeye ambaye yeye asiyependa yeye asiyependa na hakumjua Mungu hakumjua Mungu kwa maana Mungu ni pendo eti ni kitutisho ambayo shetani ametengeneza ambayo wewe ambaye haujaoa utapata uzuri wote wa ndoa isipokuwa ni baraka ya Mungu kwa kile unafiki kuna mwisho wake lakini mpango wa Mungu unasema ndoa ni ya milele lakini kila uhusiano una mwisho nani atajishikanisha mpaka mwisho Evangelist Joshua Menya followed closely with a sermon which was packed with scriptural exposition. Kumakilika naye pamoja. Naam, namkaribisha mtumishi wa masomo ya Biblia Bible study mtumishi Joshua Amenya. Siku ya leo ningependa kuzungumzia mada fulani kuhusu anguko la binadamu na jinsi binadamu alivyo. Nilianza jana ningependa kufunga siku ya leo. Biblia inasema basi ile nia ya mwili ya binadamu ni uadui na mapenzi ya Mungu na bila shaka haiwezi tii sheria ya Mungu. Ndio maana wengi wako chini ya dhambi. Ndio maana wengi wako chini ya giza la shetani ambayo imefunika ulimwengu wote. Maana yu hai siku zote ili awaombe. Ah yuko hai siku zote ili awaombe. Nikawaelezea jana kwamba yote ambayo ametiwa gizani na nguvu za giza ana uwezo wa kuokolewa ijapokuwa ameenda kwake Kristo. Na tunapata kwamba Kristo kazi yake ni kutuombea mbele ya Baba ili tuweze kupata kuokolewa. Hakuna njia nyingine binadamu ana uwezo wa kupata wokovu isipokuwa kumpitia Kristo mwenyewe. Ningependa kuambia siku ya leo ya kwamba nia yetu kubwa ni kwamba eneo hili lipate kujua sauti ya Bwana na wapate kutubu dhambi zao ili wamtambue Kristo ambaye bila shaka ni mkombozi wetu wakati huu. Paulo anasema basi ni vipi yule anaweza kuwa anamtambua Kristo ama kumlilia bila kumwamini? Na je, atamwamini vipi bila kumtambua? Na je, atamtambua vipi bila kuwa na muhubiri? Na je, watahubiri vipi bila kupeleka injili? Kumaanisha basi kulazima kuwe na wale ambao kazi yao ni kutembea wakiangaza injili ya Kristo. At around 6 in the evening, evangelist Raphael Onsongo would step in for Bible study. Watumbo utakwenda, watumbo utakwenda, na mavumbi utakula, na mavumbi utakula. Siyani fikia, Biblia tuweza kwamba ana wakati ambapo nyoka alikuwa anatembea basi Alipomaliza sehemu ile ya mali Biblia yasema akazuka kuyakaa mesebo. Ile mtu basazuka njaa sehemu ile. Basi kidana ambaye kuwa kujua njaa akaanza kupigwa na njaa. Kwa hiyo tena msemaji, kuna tena yasema, jana kaamua kuchukua hatua, akaenda akashikamana na mwenyeji mmoja, akaenda na kushikamana na mwenyeji mmoja, nchi ile, nchi ile ambayo alikuwa akipona raha, naye akampeleka shambani kwake kulisha nguruwe. Naye akampeleka shambani kwake kulisha nguruwe. Kwa kidana huyo alikuwa mkuu katika katika serikali ile ya Wayahudi. Kwa kuwa alikuwa tajiri pesa, nafahamu labda alikuwa na nafasi katizama je ni acha yote ni fuatane na huyo ambaye mwenye ana hata makao kwa kuwa Kristo hakuwa na nyumba Kristo alikuwa tu akitembea katika kijiji kimoja na hadi kingine akihubiri injili akiwaponya wagonjwa When darkness set in it created a conducive environment for evangelist Anthony Waruiru to teach prophecy using his projector which attracted large crowds Unaonaje <laughs> Many revelations are made known to the people 
at this time now that they were more eager to hear. None of these came in a silver platter as we had to undergo numerous challenges at different points. To begin with, the rains. are a blessing. It gave us a hard time preaching to the people and some of the equipment got damaged by it. Being a remote area, language was another barrier. The illiterate formed a good portion of the population and some could only speak conversantly in lawyer language. There are few challenges here and there. Perhaps some people um, are not receptive. There's also language barrier because some people do not understand Swahili or English. We realize this land in Ekitali has uh, challenges in terms of the gospel. They have many churches around, and uh, the Seventh day Adventist church is singular here. You find that around Churches around here majorly are KEG, which is Kenya Symbols, and we've spoken to most of the rivals who run this church. At the end of the campaign, we were blessed with many students for the baptismal class, though only 13 were baptized on the last day. Many, however, remained to learn more about the Adventist faith before going into the waters. Ya 
ndiyo sababu imekupendeza tuje katika mto huu. Watumishi wako wanaenda kudhihirisha ya kwamba wamekufa pamoja nawe na wataishi kulingana na mapenzi yako. Wasaidie wanapofanya ahadi hii. Pamoja na mtumishi atakayefanya kazi hii umbariki kwa njia pekee mpe nguvu. Wanaema zako atende hii kulingana na mapenzi yako. Waomba tukiamini atafika ulipo kwa jina la Yesu aliye bwana na mwokozi wetu.
Apart from the serious business of preaching, we also had some time for fun and socialization. We had exercises in the morning immediately after devotion. On 24th, as we were fasting, we went to Sangalo Hills for prayers. We had a chance to enjoy Mother Nature between the enormous walks of Sangalo Hills. This is Ken. <laughs> we also visited Chela Chuele River and Simone. where some of us had a chance to swim. At the peak of... Uh, Coming here to play <laughs> and fast in the hills, just like Jesus, because we know Jesus loves us. Can I his experience? <laughs> the experience. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, it's excru excruciating. <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah? It's nice. <laughs> I love what you have. Generally, it has been fun. Um, the fasting days, the days in the kitchen. Oh my God, it was so fun! And those guys uh, relating to each other, meeting new friends, and uh, kind of uh, having fun together. I remember even I had a first time experience swimming in a river. Gosh, who does that? Okay. I saw in a river. <laughs> and then we were coming. I remember said, saying that mission is not a trip. Actually, it was just a trip. <laughs> to Bungoma. I've never been to Bungoma. And then, uh, so the people here were receptive. Uh, even today we went to lunch in some Luya home. <clears throat> Luya home here yeah, interesting. We ate chicken, and then on top of that chicken, we were given some obus obusma. Uh, that is a lot of ugali. Oh my god, it was fun. And then we won the salt. We got to put up taste. Indeed, many have been blessed by our visitation. 
and here are some of the testimonies and experiences.
So I, as you can see, people are packing up. That means that the mission is over. And from here, we are going to know that the work of God has been with us. It's been so far a two-week mission. And uh, we are actually completing it on a very wonderful note. The experience like no other. I think God has been with us and God has worked miracle through us. We've been going to visitation. We've been doing great things. We preach to the people in Ekita, Ekitale, Bungoma, and they're really receptive. And uh, I just feel like we've been encouraged to go for more. I would only wish to encourage all the Musda members to continue organizing for such missions and ensuring that they try as much as possible to win as many souls to Christ as possible. It's very great that indeed uh, Musda has been able to do its first mission. It's something that is going to be in the history. People are going to know this uh, because there are many people. There are very there are many people who have been looking at this day to see whether these people are going to be successful. But we thank the Lord. Everything that we have done, that's God's work, and we hope that it's going to grow by the God's name. There are those who have been different in one way or the other. People have been curious about the Christmas. They have seen people that students can be able to, the university students more so, because they think that university students, that people are proud, people cannot be able to serve God. But so far, we have proved it wrong, and they say that Indeed, these children they are working for God. How we hope that indeed our names be, may be in heaven. We hope that this word of God is going to make them to be better people. And even our coming to this place is going to change them so that they can be able to come into God's fold and uh, even win more souls than the ones that we have gone. Go. My name is Jared and I decided to join my friends. To kujua how those missions look like. At least we have the experience of saving souls and ministering to God's people. So we had a lot of expectation as a first time missionaries. We expected a lot of things, but um, contrary to our expectation, we found the mission field a very nice place to, to stay and to work in. And uh, from these very fields that you see, the people all around here, uh, even the stones can testify that the truth has been outed with power and that indeed the angels have uh, marked this ground and uh, the labors have been, have been, have been, have received the impress of heaven. Uh, truly, the Lord has visited us. Uh, just like to encourage those of you who are out there who are contemplating of, to go out for mission. Mission is a wonderful place to be. It's a wonderful way to start the year. It is beautiful to see souls that you visited, people you, who welcomed you to their homes, who you had Bible study with, go into the water and make a decision for Christ. Uh, there is no greater feeling such as that. God indeed has always been there for us. We have seen his hand despite some few challenges that the devil didn't want to see things working out well. But we are happy because through prayers, God indeed triumphs and is still powerful. And indeed the moment that we leave this place, we believe that the message that we have left at this point it is going to be important in people's heart and they're going to crave to get more and more and more word from God's message. The greatest encouragement that indeed we have gotten from this place is that no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, if you get a chance to serve God, do it with all your heart. We have found that they are the most social people welcoming. We have enjoyed their since we came here two weeks ago and now it has reached the time that we want to leave. Actually, we thank the people of Wiktale because of their social behavior. They have fed us with sugar cane. They have given us their food and all that they have done for us. Ours, we say that we the Lord bless them and more especially the people from Musida community. We also we also say thanks to them for the message they brought here in Kungoma and may the Lord's presence be upon each and every one of them. I've been the speaker for Family Life in this Ekitale mission. So it has been a wonderful work to talk about families. It has been one of the places that the devil has attacked most and it's one of the places that we need to reclaim our victory most. We are happy about the work of God in this area. We've been welcomed to a lot of homes. 
We spoke, we have opened the word and families are really blessed. We are happy for what we have realized and for real this mission has not only be a help to the place, the, pe the people who live in this place, but it has been also been of help to us who have come for this mission. Ni singe sijawahi kukutana na pamoja nao lakini mara yangu ya kwanza kukutana nao lakini kazi ambayo umefanya katika wati ya Bukendo West pamoja na Pongoma County ni nzuri watu wa Mungu wamepokea ujumbe ambao wameleta na matarajio ya watu wengi ni kwamba waweze kupokea Yesu anapokea na ni maombi ilikuwa yangu ya kwamba watu wangu waweze kupata ujumbe vile umepata waweze kukaa pamoja nao kwa hivyo naomba ya kwamba wote ambao wamepata ujumbe huu waweze kuwasaidia ili nyakati za mwisho Yesu atakapokuja mara ya pili kwa ajili ya baadhi ya university ambayo wamekuleta huko Tumbe watu waweze kuona nafasi katika uzima wa milele. This is Nakirota. Thank you for joining me. I'd like to say that I've been in Bungoma for the last two weeks. It's been fun and I learned a lot of things. Uh, as you've seen in the video, you see that we learned a lot of things and we thank the Lord for everything. Um, yes, I guess that's everything. But let's meet again in more missions as it please the Lord. This is my friend Victor. We've been covering the whole of this meeting for the last two weeks. It's been the end of the meeting as you can see people are packing up and it's been a very good experience. Thank you. Well, it has been a very wonderful time sharing with the, the people of God, the Word of God, visiting their houses and uh, just getting to socialize with the people around here in Ekitale. It's been such a wonderful time meeting them at their points of needs. We've been able to meet the oldest people and the youngest people, the most weird character and the most humble people. We are so glad that uh, we met the best, most receptive people we've ever seen. Uh, the Lewis are so receptive and uh, I assure you this is the best place to come when you really want hospitality. But more than that, we brought them something else, the Word of God, and we are glad they received it. And as you have seen, most of them have got baptized and are come into a new life. Therefore, I conclude this by saying that God was with us, and truly, He shall be with you if you dare to try this challenge of doing a mission. God bless you. Every day I do love to sing and to praise my Lord that I love. This a time that I have to say, just a few more days have to come. Once I, every day I do love to sing and to praise my Lord that I love. For the love I have for my Lord, should I say we shall meet again. For the love I have for my Lord, should I say we shall meet again. Yesterday I read Sandy John, chapter 3 and verse 16. That whoever believes in him perish not but have eternal life. Yesterday I read St. John chapter 3 and verse 16. That whoever believes in him perish not but have eternal life. For the love I have for my Lord, should I say we shall meet again. For the love I have for my Lord, should I say we shall meet again. For the love I have for my Lord, should I say we shall meet again.